Welcome back to SnowRunner, guys and girls. Now, yes, I'm in a pimped out loaf. And this is from a mod we'll go into later. Now, as you can see, it is a monstrosity of a vehicle. It has got things clipping and glitching through everything. And I'm amazed it even works. But as you can see, it is like a determined little sperm. And this little sperm is to show you the weirdness you've already seen in the thumbnails now the reason why i chose the loaf out of the mod which you'll see a bit later on is because it's small unlike these two bastards here these two are some of the biggest mods that are usable in snowrunner currently now the train is more well known and we'll get to that in a minute but first, I want to get to the plane because I want to see the age-old question. What is more useful in SnowRunner? A plane? A train? Or something else, which you'll see quite later on. Now, as you can see, the plane has got little move wheels. And you'll be glad to know, it doesn't take up much room because, well, it's already in the game. Now... I've been told to do something with the suspension, so... Oh, it has a little boing! Oh, it does a little takeoff! How cute! Right, okay, well, let's get this into the garage and see what we can do with it! I've just realised I parked the train there and I can't fucking get back out. Well, that's a problem for another day. So, engine, I'm not touching, gearbox, I'm not touching, suspension. Let's do... Uh, let's do big takeoff. We've had suspension active. Let's do big takeoff. We like big takeoff. Uh, we've currently got train wheels. Uh, let. I don't really know what I want. Yeah, I'm gonna leave them on there because they look good. Winch. Let's leave it as is. Frame add-ons. Uh, you can add an armor car. Why not? You can add. A secondary armor car, why not? You can add a part of a plane wing, okay. And you can add another piece of a plane wing. Okay! Uh, well... Got nothing else to really do. As it all... That right there is the definition of jank. Now, I have been told that this thing is enormous. So, you know what we like to do with enormous things? We like to break them. Uh, hopefully this fat fucker will actually... Okay, thank God they're lifted. Otherwise, that little loaf would have been toast. Haha, <laughs> get it? Toast? No? Okay, I'm here all... Fuck. Right, well, it looks like we're going to have to use our takeoff feature a bit earlier than intended. Uh, right, let's see what happens. Big takeoff. Oh my Jesus, Nora of Living Mary, Mother of Hope, what the hell is happening? Many things are happening, what in the, it is, it's freaking out, it's having a seizure, it's flying through the air, what the fuck is happening? Help me Jesus! Okay, it's really a plane now, what the fuck is happening? Oh God! Oh, look, there's a plane. It actually is flying through the fucking air. Um. Please stop. I wonder, can you see it up there? No, you can't. Uh. Well, that's a bit. That is both hilarious, shocking, and terrifying all at the same time. Um, is it still going? Oh, Jesus Christ, it is still going. Right. Uh, look, this is the next one. We've had a plane, which has been a disaster. So let's have a train. Now, there are multiple versions of this. There's a no steering, a steering, and an off-road. This is just the steering, but I will show you the off-road because... The off-road version is an absolute unit of a vehicle. 
Now, you don't touch the engine, you don't touch the gearbox, you don't touch the suspension, and you don't touch the tyres. Actually, the only thing you touch is the frame add-on. So let's add a long bread loaf because it adds 33,000 units of fuel. And you can have a saddle high on it. That's going to be fun for towing shit. So. And it makes train noises. I wonder if it's got a train horn. Award for the longest fucking horn in history goes to. Now, this thing, as you can see, is massive. It makes the Pacifics look like a flea. Sorry, no, it makes the Pacifics look like a gnat on a flea. So let's see, we've got uh, uh, we've got another mod with all the special trailers added. So as you can see, this thing can haul a crap ton of things, but you can also tow this. You can tow another train version of yourself. Which looks in no better of the word. Terrifying. And it's already stopped. So, right, so let's get rid of you. Right, I've got to show how much of a unit you are. Right, so let's go for the giant ass fuel. Because to any other vehicle, this will be a mahoosive trailer. But to the train, it just sort of looks sort of regular, really. And there's the tiny loaf. Move, tiny loaf! I, I was surprised it didn't get fucked more than it did. Now, don't get me wrong. This is not fast. But what it is, is... Well, it's immovable. It is fucking unstoppable. It is such a force of nature of a vehicle. It just doesn't stop for anything. That is a fully loaded fuel trailer. Uh, oh, it did drop down to... Fair. Hold on, let's kick it up into high. Yeah. Kick it up into high. No worries. You got absolutely no worries. And away it goes. I mean, just how... Can we just appreciate how badass this thing looks? I mean, just look at it. It's absolute... Oh. Yeah, can't start in high, but just immediately kick it up to high. No worries. Now, this thing will give Greenpeace a uh, heart attack because the amount of smoke coming out of this thing is comparable to a forest fire. Or a meltdown. Now, you can actually sit inside the little conductor's thing. To me, that is amazing. But look at it. Through the mud. No issue. Doesn't care. With a full trailer. And the thing weighs more than Mars. It's actually dragging the trailer on its belly. And it's still in high, let's not forget. It's still in high gear. I mean, look at it go. Just, it's an absolute, anything else would be properly struggling at this point. And when you think this takes up next to no memory space for a mod, and it's this unstoppable, it's stupid. But let's have a look. We can raise the suspension and just continue on trucking. Now, this thing has so many wheels and is so long, it goes over the bump test like a Rolls Royce. Look at that! Not one bump, dick or worry. This is the train secret. Everyone doubts the train, but the train is God and... It can pull any trailer in this game. Yes, it can pull any trailer, any sort of hitch, anything. So if you want to haul a big, like, 10 slot trailer behind it, no problem. If you want to pull another train behind it, no problem. 
You want to pull this thing? Not a problem, as you've seen. Don't get me wrong. It is slow. It is properly slow. But it never gives up. Like, it just has tenacity. You just whack it in higher gear, hold the accelerator, and it goes where you need it to. Now, I'm going to stop it here. I'm going to lower it back into Train Sport Plus. And just to show you how stupid this thing is, it has got that many repair points of all of them. And it has got this much fuel. Let's actually count it, shall we? So we've got 8,000, 33,000. We have got, well, close to 42,000 litres of fuel. And that's excluding what's in the train. So I think you'll be good. So let's whack it down the ski jump and see what happens. If it don't get stuck. Uh, technical issues. Right, there was a clipping point uh, under that train. So yeah, the active suspension is needed. So, take two. Let's do this again. Let's go. Forget. I can't see shit. Fourth gear. Whoa. Why does that look like a symbol for trouble? You know what, Sonic? I'm going to leave it there. That is going to be an interesting obstacle for our next vehicle. And I say vehicle because... Well, I can't really describe it. You'll see what I mean. Now, this next mod is called the Scouts Max Pack. It is basically a Frankenstein pack. Of all the Scout vehicles, there is another mod for the regular vehicles, but it comes in two different mods. So as you can see here, you've got like the Don, like with four-wheel steer, regular, you got the F750 four-wheel steer, double wheels, four-wheel steer, six by six, six by wix, double wheels, six by six, dually, you know, there's quite a lot of variants. Now, I've downloaded this before, and it weren't really that special to make a video on. Uh, they've added, like, some DLC stuff, which is very cool to see. However, I was scrolling the other day, all the way to the end, and I found these. <laughs> I, I, I shit you not, it is a portable cabin. I, I, I can't explain this in any more detail than what I'm currently trying to portray but there is a cabin you can drive that you can stick 61 inch wheels on uh okay uh, rooftop uh, we can put beacons on it okay uh, what, why do I want extra weight? I don't want extra weight. And, yeah! This! Now, I can't explain this any more than you can. Uh, can it... T Again! Ah! Note to self, don't try and see what it can fucking pull. Um, I'm going to buy another one. See you in a minute. Okay, take two. And if you notice this time, I've got the train wheels on. Because I think that's what was clipping it. Um, I'm not going to do anything like that, and I didn't put the roof beacons on because... Now, the purpose of this mod, I don't know. I really don't know. It has flexible suspension. 
you can't look inside it. I wonder how deep it goes underwater. Okay. Is there a danger to engine? I'm not currently seeing one. Wait a minute, can this fucker float? Oh my god, it can. So I'm currently just drifting. Like a turd. I don't know what it's doing. It floats. That's it. Right, well... That was three weird and strange mods in SnowRunner. Um, like, subscribe and suggest any more mods you see that you want to see me review in this strange... I don't know what the fuck this thing is for. I mean, it's just drifting. Anyway, peace!